Welcome, my name is Noltai, and today I wanted to go over customizing Windows Media Center. Now there are a lot of ways to do this, but today I'll be going over um, the installation and the setup of a program called Media Browser. You can get the software to download this at www.mediabrowser.tv. Um, so let's start. Um, first off, I wanted to show you um, just the basics of Windows Media Center and how it is natively. Um, so first off, let's go into the movie library. And um, you can see here that I already have a pretty good amount of videos loaded up. Um, but let's just test one out, like Anchorman. Um, you can see that it shows the full name of the actual file of the movie, and but not really much other information is given besides the fact of the length of the movie. Um, even if we go into actions, there's you can burn into a CD or DVD, and there's not really much else um, that you can see. Um, the same thing is pretty much true um, for the video library. When you go into it, it'll pretty much just show you how you have your folder set up. Um, See so if we go into anime, stuff that has a lot of information um, that could possibly go with it, um, it just still doesn't show much. Um, so our goal is to try to fix that and maybe add a little more fun to Windows Media Center experience. So let's do that. Um, first off, you need to install Windows Media. Um, you install Media Browser. 2.13 is the most current edition. All right, that's how simple that was to install. Except for that little lag waiting for the UAC to show up for me to approve it. That's pretty much, there wasn't much really to set up there. Uh, most of the setup actually takes place when the program launches. So I'll just wait for it to load now. So this is the actual, media browser configuration tool. I mean, if you go through it, there's, it's, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Here in this little section, you add the folders where all your media is kept. Um, you add the folders where your podcasts are kept, and you add different plugins um, to enhance the actual experience of media browser itself. So let's start off by adding a few um, folders. I recommend that everything be kept very organized because this stuff can get really out of control if you don't do a good job organizing everything. Um, so here I've added three different folders, anime movies, anime, and movies. And anime movies is pretty much as it shows that there's only movies kept in that folder that are just movies. Um, a really nice feature about Media Browser is you can customize it by adding different icons for certain situations. So say for this one we can add um, let's find a good folder a good cover for that. I'll just choose everything but the kitchen sink. And then for anime, I'll actually choose that anime icon I saw. And then for movies, I can just put image. image. Put that's actually where I keep all my high definition movies. So we'll set it like this. And this is pretty much how easy this was. Um, you can. There's also. Um, an advanced setup, but we won't go through that right now. Um, so let's just stick to the basic and let's see what's changed in Windows Media Center. Here it is already up and loaded and installed and ready to go. Alright, so everything seems to be alright. Continue. 
All right, so let's click on it one more time now that we've set that up. And this is pretty much what um, the basic version of Media Browser looks like. Um, we have three folders that we added, anime, anime movies, and movies. Um, and let's go through anime to see what it looks like now. It's a lot easier to use the keyboard and the mouse for this part of the, of the, of the viewing. Um, let's just see some Full Metal Alchemist. Let's see what's going on. Now, as you can see, um, there's a background image dedicated specifically to the anime. It has its own um, banner as to what it is, and it has its actual cover for season one. And every single season, um, you'll see in more intricate animes, they have their own specific folder icon. Um, this uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood only has one season, so there's only one cover. Um, but let's go back a little bit and show a season that's a little, show a anime that's a little bit more intricate, like Bleach, that's been going on for God knows how long. Um, this version of Media Browser, Media Browser, sorry, actually contains themes, so you can set up the themes depending on what you wanted to show. So since this is a very this is our anime section. We wanted to show as much information as possible about the season and about the episodes themselves. So let's go back and close this out. And let's edit a few of those options that we have in the advanced settings. Here in visual theme, we'll choose vanilla. Um, color scheme can be pretty much basic. Um, but if you are running this to an Xbox 360, you probably want to consider either extender default or extender black to make it um, to make it run a lot more smooth. All right, that look seems pretty fine. So let's check it out. Organize bleach. All right, so here we go. Um, with this section open, we can actually change how it's how every single season is viewed. Um, I usually just leave it a poster because it's pretty much the most the simplest way to use it. Um, Thumbnail is another popular one because it shows you the actual seasons over here on the side along with the short little episode list of what's going on so let's head on into the season and do a random season now to see what the inside looks it's the same exact method it'll show you each episode of the anime along with a short description of what's going on um, now the, these descriptions aren't being downloaded from the internet they're actually already on the computer um, using a combination of programs to get, actually acquire the information um, you see, so once we changed it into one, in one, in this, and, and Bleach, it actually went over to all the other animes as well, and they're actually set up the same exact way now. Um, so th this that's pretty much it for this first movie. Um, this first walkthrough of showing how to set up Media Browser on a Windows 7 Media Center um, PC. Um, stay tuned. Next up, I'll be showing how to actually set up the Transcode 360 option to actually be able to use Media Browser on the Xbox 360. All right, see you then.